Welcome back. This is Off by One, and this is my survival friendly cobble farm. It's capable of producing up to 160 cobble per cycle per layer. This can be milled and washed to around 20 iron nuggets. Most create mod cobblestone generators fall under one of the following two designs generator and drill, which is very compact and practically guarantees item recovery, though offers low yield in that one drill can only break one block at a time. You also see generator and collision, contraption collision designs, which can break multiple blocks at a time, but do not guarantee that the item will go in the intended direction. Given that each drill can only break one cobble at a time, contraption collision is typically the best choice, even accounting for the lost items. However, these sorts of self-contained designs are rarely, rarely economical pre-Bronze Age, as they often rely on sequence gear shifts. I wanted a design that I could scale up as needed that didn't require going to the nether. I hate the nether. Much of the behaviour of the sequence gear shifts can be copied with a carefully controlled RPM and a clutch. You might have spotted these water wheels turning in reverse. That's very intentional. For this to work, we need exactly 20 RPM. As you can see, there's nothing fancy going on here. Just two standard water wheels a big cog, and a little cog, getting us our 20 RPM and sufficient stress to move all these blocks. I've got a smaller example without the lava over here, which might help you understand what's happening a bit better. Each of these linear chassis are slimed on both sides, allowing them to pick up blocks on either side. The example I showed earlier was of slime chassis configured to the max reach of 16 blocks. You can configure the reach using a wrench and scrolling, The outer clutches are delayed by two ticks, allowing the inner blocks to be picked up first, then the outer blocks, like so. There are three important points to consider with this design. The width of five was very intentional. It's the maximum width you can reliably generate stone at when using the full 16 blocks of reach. The RPM must be exactly 20, any more or less will lead to breakages, which can be a pain to fix. And finally, you must use a wooden button. If you use a stone button, the timing will be off. A wooden button issues a 15 tick pulse, whereas a stone button is only 10. And because this is my small one, I'll show you what happens here if you use it. Not ideal. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to it. As always, you can find schematics linked in the video description. If you have any suggestions for things you would like to see, I'd love to hear them. If this video has been in any way useful, please drop it a comment or a like. As you can see, this is still a very small channel and every little bit helps. I won't pester you to subscribe here, but do consider checking out my other videos. I try to upload at least every week. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one.